conference. Well, I'll tell you what, Grambling is, uh, they're a team, they played a lot of games on the road. They played really good competition. Um, I mean, they, they came here from North Carolina, and North Car at North Carolina it was only a 16-point win. So we've got to give Grambling a lot of credit yeah. because they've, they've got some players that caused some problems, and, uh, and they've got a system, and they stayed in it. You know, they made us guard five out. All night long, we fouled a little bit late in the game, but ultimately, who would you expect to come through for us other than Cheyenne Creighton? Right. So, great night for Cheyenne again. They, they got hot there in the third quarter from the arc. They buried three of six three-pointers, and they got themselves right back. And They were never really out of the ball game. No. They made it really tight. They did. They made it really tight. Um, both 10 and 11 opened up the game with threes, and then they hit a couple threes in the third quarter. 25 hit a, hit a couple threes, and, and we knew that she could do that. We were... We maybe didn't give them enough credit at the three-point line. They haven't shot the ball well, so we were playing. We were kind of in prevent defense, and um, didn't give up any backdoor cuts. Didn't give up any easy stuff, but gave up some threes. So that was uh, that was the poison that we chose. Well, your senior, 18 and 14, but again, a couple of freshmen. Stinson really coming on, hits a couple of big threes, and Elena Davis, who showed us what she, the potential she had in yeah. November, showing choose precedent service get some significant minutes, and really, she kind of took over there for about a four-minute stretch. She did. She did. She did a really nice job. Um, you know, Brianna Porter has played some good games for us um, since she's been back. Today wasn't one of them. So I decided to go with Elena, and she did a great job. Got the ball low on the block, finished when she got it in there. And then Jada Stinson, she had a huge three in the corner and also a nice little pull-up jumper. I thought she played with great energy once she figured out defensively what they were trying to do and got herself in a better position and quit she got she got out over her skis and got back at a few times but um, anyway nonetheless wasn't the prettiest win but we'll take it and run home all right so uh, I know you're getting out of here later this afternoon I'm sure some of the players are I believe you're coming back the day after Christmas getting prepped up for UConn to open up uh, league play on New Year's Eve uh, you told me earlier today, before we started the pregame, you're going to tell them, look, just, just get away, recover. I'm sure you want them to keep their conditioning a little bit but not do anything too tough. They, they really need the recovery in the next few days. We do. We've got, uh, you know, with the injuries that we've had, we've got a lot of kids playing long minutes, and some of our kids that are healthy aren't really healthy. So um, for the most part, I'm going to tell them to sit on their little rear ends and eat turkey and ham. Um, but... You know, some of the kids that are coming off the bench, they need one cardio in there. We gotta, we gotta have a day of shooting while they're gone. But um, this is not one of those Christmas breaks where I say go home and, you know, and grind. This is a Christmas break where I say go home, enjoy your family, give me one good day of workout, and I'll see you the day after Christmas. All right, sounds good, Coach. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, Coach Melissa McFay.